Well, we're at the 2017 Vision Conference in Kansas City, and I am in the hotel uh, booth, and you know Michael, and he's here with me. And last year we talked a little bit about the new uh, hotel scope, and Michael helped us a lot with that. Today he's going to talk a lot more about that, and that's coming right up. Well, first of all, thanks for all the uh, comments we had on the last video. That's great. And some of you guys wanted to know more about this Autel scope. And so Michael's going to give us some information on some of the new features and some of the things that I know you're just going to like. Michael, what is new? Well, one of the things we're constantly updating our software as always, Jim. One of the most recent updates was adding serial decoding for a CAN or digital signal to help them decipher the signal they're getting and see the problems and issues with it. They simply go at the top banner in the middle, there's a symbol that almost looks like a gavel. That symbol gets you into your settings menu for the tool, and in there you'll see serial or CAN decoding available. Go in and set the settings, and that'll give them additional information displayed besides the signal on the scope. Yeah, and that's really, really important, especially if you guys are doing like drivability stuff and wanting to dig a little bit deeper into what you're seeing uh, in those vehicle computers. So, what else, Mike? Well, we've noticed in the last few years several of the questions on setup those settings to be able to use someone else's amp clamp or amp clamps or other adapters you know are in that same button in the middle that looks like a gavel. So that's where they'll find those additional settings besides what's on the screen. Some other helpful tips that I have for guys, keep in mind when you're on a vehicle, the AC power circuit and your signal circuit from the car are not truly isolated. So if you try to run off of the battery signal, off the battery power I should say, or off of your cigarette lighter, you're gonna find interference that gives you noise in your signal. Always try to use the scope with the main tablet plugged into AC power. That gives you a separate power source. It'll give you a much cleaner signal. Another thing to keep in mind when you're scoping is two wires run side by side will create a waveform in themselves and a signal generation. So always cross your wires at a 90, the same with any power or battery cables on the cars. This will help you get a much cleaner, much crisper signal that you'll be able to decipher and match to what you see in your manuals. Right. Awesome tips, Michael. Thank you very much. And not only is this information going to be good for you guys using the uh, tele equipment, it's going to be good for you guys using anything that you have now. Absolutely. Right. Right. Absolutely. Okay. True across the board. All right. So, thank you, Michael. Appreciate the updates. Uh, we'll keep checking back with Michael and Artel uh, in the future. In the meantime, if there's anything else you'd like to know about the Artel equipment, especially the Artel scope, be sure you leave comments down below. I'll leave it myself, and we'll have Michael get back to you on that.